What's up guys, it's Overgrowth coming in trying to show you guys how to pl plant some uh, basil, how to cut some basil. Um, I grew them in them some six packs, you probably find them at your nursery in six packs for cheap or in four inches. I'm go I planted seeds in these six packs, gonna repot them into four inches. And when I take them out of the four inches, I probably group about two or three into a larger pot like so and this is what i get i'm gonna show you guys how to do that I'll show you guys how to get them going fast and quick um main thing is fast and quick means they're just growing in the right season which is the summer basil love the heat they actually don't germinate the seeds until the soil is around mid 70s at nighttime. so keep that in mind so nothing's going to germinate until nighttime temperatures are up there this is what it looks like and I'm gonna show you guys how to prune this back and what I usually do I'll probably start off halfway and then show you where to do it but let's start off by um, planting these six packs get them into four inches and then I'll bring the four inches over and show you how to cut those and might even get it to planting those into a bigger container let's get going all right so first thing you want to do is have your pots ready So I got the pot. Really what you do is pretty easy guys. Just squeeze from the bottom. I usually try to squeeze and squeeze it up and out. Another big tip is usually wait until the plants are kind of dry. Um, that way the soil holds a little bit better because if the plants are, the soil's wet, it's gonna fall apart and you're not gonna really have fun. And then you're gonna wanna maybe break up those roots. I had these in there for a while so um, the roots kind of wrapped around. You're gonna want to break those up that way they're like growing in every direction and not just in circles. A lot of people agree with this, a lot of people don't, but had some pretty good reputable people say it's a good thing. So what you do is I'm gonna put this in here, but I'm gonna put a little bit of soil in there first. Oh yeah, and best thing you want to do is get your soil ready. Get your soil in a bucket like right here and then what I'm gonna do is add a wee bit little bone uh, blood meal because blood meal is for the foliage has a whole lot of nitrogen there's 13 on that and I'm gonna add Parish Nurseries rose food it's four roses but it has a lot of things in there and the nitrogen is 585 um, as long as you prune your basil and don't let it flower, you'll have a wonderful plant. But those two things is going to make your soil very healthy and going to get your plants going. I pretty much uh, got a good amount of soil in my bucket. Sorry about the um, specific amounts, but I'd say a whole bag of soil, per bag of soil, which is around a two cubic foot bag, I would add a handful or a cup or... Let's just say a handful, I got medium hands, of the rose food. I'd say a quarter of a handful or even less of the blood meal. You don't want to add too much because these are young plants, but you know, I'm trying to get these things going. Um, there's, always, there's already food in the soil, so is, this is not really a necessity, it's more of a you know, I just want to get my stuff going as fast as I can. So, oh yeah, my other treat was going to be azomite. Sorry, I don't have the container. I just have some really old azomite. I guess it's like rock dust. So, I'm going to crunch it in front of you guys. Put about a little bit in there. I don't know how much a little bit because it got, got caked up from it getting caught in the rain. But add that up in there. Put a little bit of soil in there already just to coat the bottom. Grab that bad boy, stuff it in there. And that's just a four incher. That's just to keep it easy. These had some big roots, so I don't know if I wanna go this small. I'm gonna get something a little bit bigger, guys. Come right back.
Hey guys, sorry about the weight. So we've got something a little bit bigger. Just gonna do a few of these so you can kinda get the gist of it. Gonna free up. Oh, and another ingredient. Oh, forgetful me. Add some coconut core, guys. That extra aeration is gonna add for uh, easy root growth. Coconut core is neutral. Um, peat moss is good too. I really like coconut core. There's been hints and stuff out there that coconut core has traces of potassium, which is also good for roots. I just like the fact that uh, it's good for aeration. It's really good for cactus if you watch my other channels. Cactus and addendum, or other channels, other videos. So, like I'm showing you guys, put a little bit first. Let's get this measured in here. You want to usually keep the soil, so right here where the soil meets, even trees, plants, you always want to keep that the same. You don't want to go deeper and you definitely don't want to go less. If you go deeper, the wood is going to rot out. If you go less, the, the water's not going to make it up the plant. And this, these guys look a little whimsy, but once I get on this really good soil, some really good water, they're going to freak. Freak out. Uh, so a cactus joke. What did one cactus say to another cactus? We gotta stick together. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so look at that. Free up those roots a little bit, don't be scared. I'd say my actually my first plant in these adventures was basil. I really like basil. I really like making pesto and uh Pesto and basil was kind of expensive at the store, so I was like, let me buy a pack of seeds, grow my own, and then my adventure started. That was, I don't even know how many years ago. Started working at the nursery since then. Then I'm gonna come back and trim these guys. I don't like these wingy guys. I'm gonna see this guy. This guy actually has three basil plants in there already. So if I cut them back, he should get pretty bushy. And you could tell these roots are really... Free up those roots, guys. Put a little bit of soil in there and get that bottom. And then once you get a certain amount, put that bad boy in there. Sometimes I like to put the plant in there while I put the soil. That way the soil drags down the roots. We used to do a lot of this at uh, Barrages and Bakers when I used to plant up the roses. Even Arcadia Garden, but they didn't last too long. All right, all right. It's easier when you're not doing it on camera and you're more focused, so... See, soil at the same height, even got a baby guy. And, bada bing. So, as far as trimming goes, usually I want to go down about two. These actually aren't good specimens. Well, I can show you on these and I'll show you on more bushier ones. So I usually go down to the third one. So this is one and two. And when I mean third one, I mean, I keep forgetting the scientific terms, but it's where the leaves branch off. So you got one, two, and down here is the third one. You see the little baby? Oh man, you didn't get me a better camera. can't really see it too well but uh, you'll see right where the leaves are branching off you'll see little babies coming out you want to trim right above that so you're gonna want to trim right here so once again one one two three cut there's no right or wrong way to this you could trim at the top at the bottom I even trimmed one all the way to the bottom if you guys want to see that. But uh, one, two, kind of see where the new guys are coming out, the little babies. And 
And then from far away. Let me show you some uh, better specimens and you gotta trim these up. So you could literally go as low as you want. Basil's pretty tough. I wouldn't go low in the cold season though. Keep it in the hot season. So just a few down, just to the next, you know, it looks like a V where they branch out. You wanna cut right above that. And what's good about pruning is it's good for the basil and you can use the cuts to make pesto. So you actually have, it's better that you keep doing it because it'll go to flower and then once it goes to flower, you're not gonna get any more uh, leaves. So keep pruning, keep watering, and keep feeding. Blood meal, worm castings, and used coffee grounds. All right guys, check you later.